Hi, everyone. Good morning. Uh, thanks for having me at this conference. Thank you, Marin and Frank and uh, Jay. So Manet is a 24 karat uh, jewelry brand uh, that I founded uh, two years ago. It's a bit different from some of the other companies uh, that you've seen so far in that it doesn't require a rising commodity price environment, uh, but we will also do very well as commodities appreciate uh, through time. Next slide. So the concept, Manet is one of the most successful jewelry brands to have launched in recent times. Uh, we're targeting a large addressable market, $250 billion. It's a unique convergence of technology, business and access to capital and disruptive vision. What we're doing is restoring the link between savings and jewelry. Next slide. For the best editorial on junior mining, visit cambridgehouse.com slash mining. Click the link in the description below to learn more. Led by innovative technology, Franco-American craftsmanship, and direct consumer economics, Manet is rapidly becoming a disruptive force in the $250 billion jewelry industry. Every single day, nearly $1 billion worth of jewelry is purchased as gifts for loved ones to mark a special moment in time or as a form of personal expression. Increasingly, jewelry is being purchased online. If you look at two of the largest jewelry companies that are publicly traded, they sell $8 billion of jewelry a year, and they're worth $20 billion. And below you can see some of their stock performance. Next slide. We're disrupting this entire industry, which is $250 billion, much like how Amazon and Uber disrupt the taxi industry or the book industry. And what you find is when consumer behaviors shift, uh, the prior consumer experience generally becomes uh, inferior, forcing all the businesses to either evolve or, or fail. So jewelry is about twice the size of books and taxis. We have a unique business model in that we're the first jewelry brand to sell only 24 karat gold and platinum jewelry. We're the only company in the world that prices our jewelry by gram weight while also transparently disclosing our profit margin, and we always keep our profit margin at roughly 20%. Next slide. Since we launched in January of 2018, uh, we've sold about $10 million of jewelry. That's a bit of an old uh, number, 16,000 units into 30 countries. 81% of our company is owned by and controlled by insiders, myself and my co-founder, Diana Picasso. Next slide. So what we're doing is we're educating consumers with this ancient wisdom. Before Monet, the average item of jewelry sold by Western brands lost around 80 to 90% of its value at the time of purchase. Monet has flipped the value proposition such that 80% or more of the original purchase price of its jewelry is maintained and perhaps even grows as an investment in 24 karat gold or platinum. For the best editorial on junior mining, visit cambridgehouse.com slash mining. Click the link in the description below to learn more. If you look at any product you buy from us, what you'll see is a radical price transparency module. It shows you the precious metal value in real time and then the fee that we earn. This proprietary technology always displays our profit margin, clearly showing what is the gold value and what is our margin. Um, we also provide you with the ability to track the value of your jewelry like a share of stock. You can see what you paid, you can see what it's worth, you can sell it back to us, you can exchange it, you can trade it, you can gift it. We're commoditizing jewelry. Next slide. So how this works is we only craft 24 karat jewelry without diamonds, gems, or anything that would obfuscate the value. So every piece that we craft is an objective weight of precious metal. It's always made from 24 karat. As Frank said, there's nearly $100 billion a year of jewelry purchased this way in the East. Next slide. We're founded by myself and Diana Picasso, the granddaughter of Pablo Picasso. Um, our creative design officer is Sanju Moon. She worked at Louis Vuitton and Missoni and Kenzo, and we run our design team out of Paris, France. Next slide. This is a vertically integrated business. It took two years to build. We have an administrative office in Toronto that does customer service and technology. We have our own factory and fulfillment center in New Jersey, and then we have a design and marketing office in Paris. No stores, direct consumer online. Next slide. We are also 38% owned by Gold Money, the company I previously founded, which, which has $2 billion of precious metal. This gives, this gives us a unique advantage and allows us to sell jewelry at such a low profit margin that no other jewelry brand could do. Next slide. The long-term differentiator. Unlike other jewelry brands that have to mark down old inventory or come up with new designs to simulate sales, Manet never suffers from that risk that its inventory will lose value. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Manet is always invested in 24 karat gold and platinum, which is secured at our insured vault until the moment where a customer decides to purchase our jewelry. 
We're a unique company positioned to grow for the long term. Uh, we basically have built an incredible team, an incredible board of directors. We went from nothing, an idea, to 30 people. The business has been de-risked, it's been launched, and it's generating revenue. It's a very easy business to follow at this point. Next slide. Our capital structure is comprised of Class A shares, which trade on the TSX under the symbol MENE, MENE, and on the US MENEF. And then we have Class A shares that are super voting shares, non tradable, that are owned by myself and Diana Picasso. We have $47 million in tangible assets and $21 million in shareholder equity. We just completed underwriting, under, underwritten uh, fi financing by Canaccord Genuity, raising $30 million. This is how you follow our business. There's no dreams anymore. You just follow our sales, follow our quarterly earnings, follow the number of orders. You can see how we grew. That excludes the holiday season, which was extremely strong. You'll be able to see that when we report our earnings next week. We've had incredible amount of earned media. The New York Times did a full feature about our company in May. Vogue, the fashion bible, said we're gonna revolutionize the gold business, published a second piece about us uh, in the summer. We've had so much earned press, it's incredible. The, the jewelry industry is really scared about what we're doing. These are some of the customer reviews. You'll have to read it for yourself, but since we launched this feature in May, we've had 5,000 independent customer reviews from people just being so incredibly surprised. They'd never felt 24 karat gold before. They never knew jewelry could be priced this way. They never knew jewelry could be an investment. And uh, that's it. Thank you.